coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. With another school season underway, health officials are reminding parents to ensure their children's vaccinations are up to date. The Credit Union IPlex is a host venue for a number of activities year-round. And in order to make it more accessible for all patrons, the City of Swift Current is undertaking a number of renovations. Another season of high school football is underway. The Swift Current Colts played host to Moose Jaw Peacock in their season opener. Thanks for joining us here today. Health officials continue to remind you to keep your vaccinations up to date. And it all starts at an early age. With another school season underway, health officials are reminding parents to ensure their children's vaccinations are up to date, especially for those just starting kindergarten. Free childhood immunizations are available for all infants ages two months and older, right through school age. A simple step in preventing the spread of illness to the mass population while building herd immunity. Immunizations have saved uh, so many lives in the last uh, number of years, more than any other health measure. And over time, the vaccines have become better and better in that they are safer, less side effects and, and uh, increased effectiveness. So it's, it's really crucial to protect yourself. And um, we've done such a good job of, of protecting our environment here that you know more and more people are forgetting what sort of effect some of these illnesses had. If you talk to uh, the older generation, they can tell you stories about things like polio and uh, diphtheria, which are things we do not see in Canada anymore because of the immunizations. And we have to keep up with the immunizations to make sure that we still don't see these illnesses. There are parts of the world where they are still quite a challenge and they do um, affect lives and children do die from these diseases and yet we've protected our communities very well by the very fact that we have these immunizations available to all children and uh, to adults as well. And as all Canadian provinces and territories are on board with encouraging vaccinations for children through adulthood, some institutions such as daycares and schools are now requesting vaccinations before enrollment. Saskatchewan hasn't yet taken that move, but there are some provinces where you are required to have your immunizations up to date before your child will be accepted in school. And even for university entrance, many a Canadian knows that if you're going for university entrance, they need you to be up to date with your immunizations because they've had many experiences where international students have come in non-immunized and they've had outbreaks of you know, things like measles within the universities or the colleges and, and in other schools. And as our world expands as a global village and more people are now traveling abroad, you're encouraged to protect yourself and your family from a range of illnesses by keeping your vaccinations up to date. And even going one step further by getting an annual influenza shot, which will be available in October. All vaccines are easily available at public health clinics or through school-based programs. More information on vaccinations are available online or by calling Healthline 811. Imagine a destination where you can enjoy world-class dining and unique accommodations. Take a leisurely stroll through streets filled with rich history while browsing for that perfect gift. Buy fresh produce from the farmer's market and enjoy a range of cultural events while stepping back in time to learn more about Canada's Old West. Your summer destination is awaiting you in Maple Creek. For event listings and all things Maple Creek, visit our website. Work crews will be busy at the Credit Union IPlex over the next several months with the installation of a new elevator system. We have more in this report. The Credit Union IPlex is a host venue for a number of activities year-round. And in order to make it more accessible for all patrons, the City of Swift Current is undertaking a number of renovations. At the recent council meeting, Mayor and Council approved a contract with Frontier Builders of Swift Current for Phase 1 of renovations at the IPlex. The work will include the installation of an elevator from the main lobby area to the second floor, making the facility accessible to all patrons and help with catering to the auditorium area. 
The project, which will be funded through budgeted dollars and grants. Uh, we had uh, a couple years ago the $25,000 from the Craft Hockeyville, mm -hmm. which was actually earmarked for, for a project similar to that. We've also been successful with the EAF, which is uh, Enabling Accessibility Fund of $50,000, as well as $25,000 from CIF for the Community Initiatives Fund. So uh, pretty pumped about uh, having those grants to offset some costs. It, we had uh, approved funding for $350,000. The project is now $410,000. But also, since the budget approved three hundred fifty thousand, we've secured a hundred thousand dollars in grants. So, in actuality, the three fifty should be less uh, out of the taxpayers' coffers. And once the elevator is in place, the focus will then shift to another area of renovations in the building for two thousand seventeen. Uh, what we'd like to do is add some um, uh, office and staff space up to the atrium area, uh, some for our own purpose and some for rent. Um, as well as some kitchen renovations. We have a very old kitchen that we've done a lot of work over the years, um, but still it's, uh, it, it, it could be shrunken and the space used better and elsewhere. The elevator installation at the IPLEX is set to be completed by January 31st, well before the 2016 Ford World Women's Curling Championship. Another exciting season of Market Square returns to downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Market Square, every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Proudly presented by the City of Swift Current and Standard Motors, along with Innovation Credit Union and Southwest TV News. High school football is back for another season and the Swift Current Colts are hoping to make it to the playoffs. Another season of high school football is underway. The Swift Current Colts played host to Moose Jaw Peacock in their season opener in the 3A 12-man category of the Moose Jaw League. And despite a hard-fought battle on the field, the Colts fell 46-0 to Moose Jaw. A loss which follows two previous weeks of training for the team. A sign that more improvements have yet to be made. The fumbles is a little bit of an experience. Uh, you know, we've got new guys back there. All three guys that touched the football in the in the backfield were guys that are new to it. So we just got to keep working on it. Uh, offensively, I think we just need to kind of just be tougher. We got to be a little bit harder to play. I think we we went two and out way too many times, especially early. The first quarter it just couldn't have been worse. I think we punted four times in the first half of the first quarter. So. It's just going to come down to making some plays and executing. And I think the guys were a little nervous, but uh, you know what? You're right. we got a short season, so we got to figure it out pretty quick. And with strong leadership for the Colts through veteran quarterback Dalton Christensen, the team has a solid chance to make a positive turnaround on the field. It's we just got to be better. We didn't execute our plays well today. We'll go, we'll break down the film, we'll watch it. We'll talk about everything that went wrong and then come out, try to improve it. The big thing is we all just got to stay positive. We can't get down on each other. And, I think it, the vibe in the locker room is still really good. We're all still good with everyone. The next action for the Swift Current Colts is on Saturday as they travel for an out-of-town game against Yorkton Regional with hopes of securing a win and vying for the prospect of hosting a playoff game in the coming weeks. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on our range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.